Okay, Neil, so here we are, 17 albums down the road, and I guess the question that one has to ask is, do you have a particular favourite? And is there a story behind the journey of the 17 albums? Yes, uh, well, they're all very unique and very special to me in their own special ways. Uh, I've worked with some tremendous people, from guest artists, uh, guest musicians, uh, etc. And of course the artists themselves, the actual uh, beautiful artwork. Um, but uh, there are a couple of special ones that stand out. I mean, the first album, Like I Saw the Mist, is always going to be special to me. It was the beginning of my journey. Uh, I'd written dozens of gentle pieces of music and when that was put together it was very special to kind of hear your very first album for the first time and back in the good old days of cassette tape, um, how much has changed now that uh, I'm fully downloadable, uh, you can certainly see from how big that journey's been. Uh, a couple of other albums as well a bit special, the albums like Sacred Gift, working with uh, some great musicians on that, notably Kevin Golding, Lovely Gongs, uh, Tabla Tom, with his tablets of course on that album, and, uh, and then notably Nigel Shaw on both that one, and uh, Jack Song on Secrets of Fairies, his flute playing has always been very special, it was very special for me to record with him at his uh, Seventh Wave Studios on Dartmoor. Um, apart from that, one that does stand out for me is uh, very notably uh, Pintura, uh, that was a very special journey, and for me in particular, uh, because it meant uh, I travelled to uh, the city of Valencia in Spain, which is uh, Spain's third largest city, to a very unique exhibition of paintings. Uh, Pintura is the Spanish word for painting. And uh, this was because one of my favourite inspirational musicians, uh, Vangelis, gave an exhibition, the first exhibition of uh, 75 of his paintings. And I wanted to encapsulate that journey in music. So even though it's not as relaxational as say some of the other albums, for me it was a special event for me to experience, for me to enjoy, for me to uh, share in that sense. Well it's interesting you mentioned there about being fully downloadable. I took a, a journey to the uh, Neil H website the other day and um, everything's changed. It doesn't look like it did before. No. Can you tell us what's been going on? Yeah, well, uh, Neil H Music has been going over a whole new rebranding and uh, the idea is to connect closely with the audience, uh, to kind of communicate. So we're available on Facebook. Uh, you can like me on my Facebook page, that immediately gives you a, a free download track called Free Fall. It's new for 2012. Uh, there's going to be a unique competition as well. We'll go over that in a minute and what you can win. And uh, everything is fully downloadable, every album is downloadable, some of the albums have been repackaged uh, as well. Um, two albums in particular, my, my Journey series, Healing and Stillness, they're undergoing themselves uh, reworking of their covers. People will see on the website that the cover looks different, so that's very special. I'm looking forward to the release of them uh, in the very near future. So I guess with all of this, um, one of the other uh, questions to ask you at the moment is, um, what is going on? What, what's new? What's in the pipeline? What can we look forward to? Well, there's a couple of new uh, projects uh, in the pipeline. Uh, one I can let out of the bag now, but one I want to uh, leave for the next block, uh, which I'd like to talk more uniquely about that as a project. But uh, yes, yeah, so I'm working with a, a wonderful flute player called Tom Brennan. I'd like to think he'll be uh, on one of the blogs in the near future, a lovely Native American flute player. Uh, and we're going to be combining our work together, going under the working name of Soul Weavers. And uh, we're going to have demos and there'll be samples that you can hear on the website. Uh, and of course, uh, an album at some point, whether it be this year or beginning of next year, we're planning hopefully for maybe the autumn winter of this year. And I've got my own new album project as well that's coming out soon, uh, which has got a, a water theme. Uh, yes, yeah, so I was going to say, you're being a little bit cryptic here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. a little bit secretive about well, it. Well, sometimes it's quite nice to do that. There will be again demos and samples, and I'm very much hopefully going to have that album released at the forthcoming uh, Healing Weekend uh, Secret World uh, this July. Well, when I looked at the website, I did happen to notice that there was a competition that I think you touched on a short time ago. Yeah, well, yeah. Tell us a bit more about the competition. What's that all about? Well, very excited about the competition. Um, about a year ago, Slippers of Magic was repackaged uh, in a beautiful box set format, uh, only a thousand. 
and uh, what we're doing is we're going to celebrate the launch of the new branding, the new latest music, the new website with a special competition. And all people have to do is email, give us their email addresses, uh, and it'll go into a kind of a, a random lottery draw where you can win a fantastic, one unique, uh, one-off box set of uh, Slimmers of Magic signed by all the people involved. And this is more about it. So this is the uh, what you can win or the Neil H Music Competition, the Syllabus of Magic box set. You can see it comes in this uh, presentation box. If I take off the lid, it reveals the CD. And this is a special box set of a unique amount of only a thousand. And this is the only one of the thousand that has been uh, specially signed uh, by Patrick Gamble, the artist of the Merlin cover on the front, Chris Porter, the author who inspired who inspired the music really with the with the words, and myself Neil H, uh, the composer. And I'll just show you what you get inside. This two CD set. First of all is the music uh, inspired by the story. Um, then you have the whole chapter of the words by Chris Porter. Um, so you can read all the way through that and see read the exact words that I read before I wrote the music, before I composed the music. And in the back here, we also, Patrick Gamble's very kindly supplied these lovely unicorn art cards that come uniquely with these with these sets. And they're underneath with uh, edition number 156 of the thousand. You can see all the three signatures of uh, Patrick Gamble, Chris Porter and myself. And in the back is the second CD. So the first CD is the music. This is a, a new CD that was composed and put together uniquely for this set only. And it features the entire story, the whole words, in an audio book. Um, and I've written an additional underscore of music to kind of create a nicer uh, mystical backing to that. So, uh, all the best luck for that and uh, good luck. From that, Neil, one of the things that you're obviously keen to promote now going forward is engaging with the listeners a little bit more um, and getting some feedback. If people want to get in contact with you or, or leave some feedback for you, how would they go about doing that? Well, on each page of the new website, there's a comments section. Uh, for instance, if they like a particular album that they use for healing or whatever they use it for relaxation or use, at the bottom of each of the album pages is a comments page where they can leave a comment about that album, about what they, how they use it. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et Everything's welcome. Uh, it's a great way of engaging with the with the people who listen to music. Because for me, if it wasn't for the people listening to music, I wouldn't be doing this. So it's always I always welcome the feedback. So one thing I love about doing festivals and shows is the responses of hearing how the music's used. Because when you write the music in your solitary studio, you've got no idea how it's going to be used, where it's taken. So feedback is always interesting. Um, and it's very welcome. Okay, Neil, well, on behalf of myself and all the listeners out there, I'd just like to say thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule. I know at the moment you're working very hard on the new album and it'll be with us shortly. Um, but thanks very much for being with us today. You're welcome.